trying to remember where there's pockets. There aren't any. Hey, Wood Turners, I'm Captain Eddie Castle, and I'm back in the shop. Now, I've been away for a couple of months, ten, and now I'm getting back and getting things straightened up. I, along with the rest of the world, enjoyed a pretty wet spring this year. I want to tell you what to do if your lathe bed, your tools, and some of the other equipments gather a little rust. All you got to do watch. This is what I'm talking about. This is in my shop. This is my one way 2436. And you see all the scaling rust? All that rust is a buildup of just being, well, here's the deal. I was going to have a little minor drainage thing on my forehead and be back in about four or five days. That was ten months ago. All right. So, and you know what I'm talking about. Well, see this? This has got to get cleaned up. Now I can start with some sandpaper on a pad and just buff it all out. I want to show you something about One Ways and a few other brands of plates. See how this cleans up pretty easy. Now don't get mad at me because I'm going to get the air out, but it's the only way I can clean this. But that's generally clean. Generally clean. Oh wait, you really want it clean. Well, I guess I got to get out the next tool. What did I go for next? There it is. This is a HD or whatever made by Campbell Hallsfield. And it's an air sander. Now, this can be replaced with my battery powered uh, cordless to do this too. But this was here, and I'm going to go with maybe, let's see what I got for paper. 120 grit paper. Okay? Bad pads down. the highest spots. I take a little WD-40 finish cleaning it up a little bit. receiver on the bottom of this table. It's got a little dip in it, a little lip. That's holding some trash too. Now I could go ahead and clean that with a little WD-40 on, on a towel and just rub it in there. Or I can take a piece of sandpaper, fold it up, and work it down in it. I know what I'm looking for, I can feel it. There's a build up of trash on that edge. And I'm just going to remove that trash and clean both sides of that trash. I 
I really can't believe I let this get this dirty. If I wasn't incapacitated, laying in a bed and unable to move my hands or feet, eh, I would have done something about it. That feels better. See if I did, did any good at all. Yep, sure did. That's what it takes to clean it up. So, I'm going to get this part done. Then I want to flip over and go to this side over here and see if I can get that cleaned up. See, see what I'm talking about? See the buildup? Now that's that was just dust, road dust from the shop, just dust. And it just sat there and deteriorated and caused a flaking problem or the sticking problem. But I had to clean the whole bed. It's going to take two trips to do it. Want to get rid of the rough stuff, then I can come back and clean it up. doesn't take that much to clean it up. What I'm going to do is once I get it all cleaned up, I'm going to wipe it down with the WD-40, make sure it's nice and clean, all the rust and all stopped. Then I'll go back and put a little shot of a PAM on it and rub that in. Why? This is a non-sticking canola oil blend. It's peanut butter flavored maybe. I don't know but it just works as a good break and to keep the, the shavings from building up on a lathe and knocking it out. Oh, this, this is a, work, a leather work vest to save t-shirts. One is kicked that <clears throat> when I went in the hospital I had four clean t-shirts and had them all with me. She had to go buy me more and I've heard a lot about that. Shaving and management. So, when you're going to clean your stuff up, make sure you're wearing something that can be cleaned out too. So far, I'm okay. Ooh, we. I'm going to have to clean my hands with a little WD 40. Hold hey, on a minute. Well, I still have you here. I get calls at Big Eye Productions every day with people asking almost the same question every time. I've got the XYC or EWT or whatever cutter coring tool or carbide tool and I want to get new cutters. How do I get your cutters to work? Well, most of all these folks are doing the same thing I did. Found the cutters, found an economic source, and got them. Now my source would do great for you. You need a thousand cutters? If that doesn't work out, then you don't need to go to my source. I work with this really nice lady who will put together whatever I need. And to get them, all you got to do is get a hold of me at this number, right here, 504, pardon me, 5120272. And that might be the right number. Whatever this number is right here, that's the one you want to dial. Now, when you get that number, it rings on this phone in my pocket. <clears throat> and I will get back to you if I'm busy. I'll call you back. Just make sure you leave me a nice distinct message about what you're looking for. And what are you looking for? You've got carbide cutters sitting on a half inch bar. Those are 14, 15, 17, 18, 16 millimeter cutters. They all fit on that bar. But then you've got a set of smaller ones. And you want the cutters to fit on the smaller ones. Well, I've got those too. They're 10.7 millimeter. 12 millimeter, 8 millimeter, squash diamonds, all that. I've got all those cutters. Management handles that sale. 
and she'll be talking to you if you need to. But you can call me and place an order anytime you want. Or you can go to my website. That's this website right here. It's amazing. I can't I can't even see it right now. But I know www.eddiecastellan.com is right here, right now. And that's the it is. It is. I can feel it, but I can't see it. It's it's on my website. So you just go to the website, pick out what you need, and then you can order the cutters. It's that simple. All right. Until next time we get together, management side of here keeping an eye on me. Can't hang out here too long if she comes and gets me. And she's got, here's the word, she's got a stick. So if you see any bruising or anything, it's her and that stick. That's what it is. Until next time, I'm making shavings. Uh-oh, she got two sticks. <laughs>